We are now five minutes past that noon deadline. Let's check in in Pontiac with 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham, where strikers have just walked off the job. Darren. Good afternoon. At 11.30, we watched as workers here at the Pontiac Redistribution Parts uh, Center walked out, clearly ready to pick it. This is the Parts Redistribution Center. They are chanting, no contract, no parts. Now, as you can see, they are on strike. Now, this is also known as the GM Customer Care and After Sales Facility on Jocelyn Road, for those who know the area. According to GM, there are just over 300 people who work here, 307 to be exact. It might not sound like a lot, but here's the role they play. This, is, this information is uh, directly from the General Motors website. Uh, warehouses like this one, redistribution centers, uh, work to replenish inventory at part distribution centers and fulfill customer referral and dangerous goods orders. I spoke with a uh, woman uh, not too long ago uh, who's worked here, uh, she says, for about 10 years. And she says she was glued to Sean Fain's speech to see if this facility was next to go on strike. He's, he selectively chose the parts plants because of the significance of the profit that we provide and the impact that we will have on the economy because we service so many and so many small suppliers. So we're going to impact a lot of people and just not the production. Watch your back. All right, and so that's one worker we, uh, who we spoke with not long ago. Not much time has lapsed uh, since they've walked out, clearly. They walked out at 1130. Uh, we're here just after noon now, and so uh, we plan to speak with uh, several more workers here at this location. This is a similar site you, we've seen, you know, at the uh, other three locations that were already on strike for the past week. And so on later versions of uh, 7 Action News, you'll definitely hear from more of these workers and what they hope to see happen with this latest, the latest in this, the negotiations. Live in Pontiac, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.